Hello everyone, welcome back to another Galaxy video on my channel. This is the rematch of the Ragnarok, uh, no not Ragnarok, Nemesis Domain Go Galaxy Tournament. This time it's Botty's duty to host. The first match where I host is already uploaded on this channel. Feel free to check it out if you did not see it yet. And let's dive in straight into the join match. Um, I'm gonna give this disclaimer probably at the start of every Galaxy video where I do not play host. If you do see lags in the gameplay, this is not caused by me having a bad connection or whatever. This is simply just the join lag that's usually common if you join somewhere you are basically playing in their Wi-Fi so obviously it may lag if your Wi-Fi is not good so I want to excuse myself already if there's lags in the gameplay please endure it with me Well, there goes the kickoff. We're playing pretty defensively as always. There's Kala, but we intercept the ball with Liadika. Nice, well played. I'm gonna keep my defenders around this area just to be sure and they were just gonna go past with the dribble Satsu. obviously we're beating Kala uh, but good try from Bati with that quick break through the middle luckily we were able to defend it um, I want to get Hakuryu forward Chapupu and Azrael close Charity far forward and Bokaku also can draw in a bit there goes the dribble obviously beating the defense with that type advantage that's why I moved my defenders at the start of the match there goes the pass to Chapupu now we gotta see what we do. We're gonna drift wide with Bokaku again. Getting Azrael in. Let's see what to make out of this. Oh, it did not let me pass fast enough. Uh, misplay on my side here. We're gonna lose the ball here. Chapupu can not beat his defender sadly at least none with the type disadvantage we're gonna take Trina to draft out wide to block Froger and then we're just gonna let him get the ball not like we have much of a choice anyways So I'm expecting the pass to Froga, but no, it goes to the other side instead. And that's a good opportunity for him. I hope I get the pause in in time. Oh, okay. Well, judging on how I was able to pause. The connection seems to be fairly good, which is always good to know. We're just getting the defenders in front of the goal, especially the earth ones, because of already mentioned type advantages, and then basically being the key to successful defending. I do believe we have two in. And with Bokaku drawing 
no, with Azrael drawing close here and Bokaku there. Together with Trina, I believe, we can clear this situation. There goes still the Bakunetsu Storm from Bati. From close distance. But Liadika once again is there to stop his attack and now it's already in the range. Or we can catch it, but just to be 100% sure. I'm gonna put in a second block anyways, it won't hurt. And with the power left of 5000, this is an easy defense. There goes the ball, his Hakuryu is directly attacked by Azrael, which means we are gonna get the ball here. I'm building my defense back up again. Getting them back here, getting Bukaku up front, most importantly. Just like Hakuryu and Charity, who might have advanced a bit too far there. But that's none of our problems for the moment. We're gonna drift over to the right side because I'm more scared of Trina than of Liadika after getting the ball here. But there's the missed pass. And now there's Kala again. Well, we are gonna save that, but that also means the end of our first goalkeeper cash, and that's for sure. There goes Devil Burst to damage our goalkeeper to fatigue him. Luckily this is a punching cash in and we have a good stamina stat so we're able to get it away. Oh no and there's Ladikos who does not have enough TP as of now. That is not a good situation to be in. So I've got to speculate with Trina here and gonna put two defenders on the type advantage side. There goes the ball to Japupu. But I do have an idea here already. But it's gonna rely on whether I will be allowed to pause or not. We're also getting our Hakuri off here. So that we're already prepared for the attack. I'm just gonna move the goalkeeper in the range of the pass here. Gonna get Bukaku up front to the defenders back and now I am because that could have costed us an important ball. I am gonna heal here. Oh and he actually would have passed the goalkeeper somehow but doesn't luckily so it's all safe. I wanna get my defensive players back still. At least got a few of them there. He's gonna bring his players forward most likely too. He does and he actually did good covering. Putting in strands for Kala. Javanyu. Fire element striker. There goes Chapupu. Playing a 1-2 with Azrael. I'm just gonna run down the wing and hope for Hakuryu to get in the middle. Gonna keep Azrael running, gonna keep Bukaku running. Charity pushing into the middle too. This defensive triangle is prepared. 
No, my goal is, or my plan rather, was to pass Kinako here. I don't know if we'll be able to, but just in case, we are getting our defense back up anyways. And we're gonna hope to pass. We do not pass, actually. Oh, this is unlucky. Well, to Froger, to QT, and to Chapupu. Searching Hakuryu, obviously, who's free. And that's the one ill for him, I believe. No use in trying to stop that. We will not be able to lower it to around 3000 with our blocks. So that's the 1-1. One, one. Uh, the one nil. I mean, my bad. Not getting the blocks in, just letting the goalkeeper cash in be ruined, as it really does not matter anyways. Uh, one nil for him. Not long from the break, but there's always time. We can still hope for a remontada. defense back getting that little bow attack predicted as defender there can get the ball to Chapupu Chapupu is passing his Chapupu here obviously here and now we're gonna get the ball to Azrael simply we're gonna keep Chapupu on the wing we're gonna do some shenanigans with Bukaku then I want Hakuryu to kinda drift wide There's Ezreal passing Kala as he is specialized on dribbling after all. There goes his goalkeeper Keshin, but that actually gives me an idea. He does have three blocks, but he still has a type disadvantage. There's the cash infusion. Come on. Let me shoot, 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 let me shoot. I can shoot! Oh, it let me shoot! Oh, yes. Let's go. We did get the shoot off. Just barely before Kinako's there, and that's a solid 18,618 again. He has three blocks, but with one type disadvantage block and another type disadvantage goalkeeper. I don't think it's gonna be enough for him to save it. It's already on the way, there goes their bullet from Assam. Nope. 
There goes the wall from Liatica. He doesn't even have a goalkeeper cash in. I did not even see that he does not have a goalkeeper cash in. Oh no, he does. It just did not show 11,000. 900, it's enough! It goes in. Okay, it's 1 1. It's 1 1. With about the half time whistle. 30 in game minutes and 46 seconds played. Azrael deserves another perfect snack here. And that's gonna be it for the first half. One one. That's solid. He's switching in Mason. He's probably gonna switch in Zanark. After the kickoff again, he just did it to get rid of the goalkeeper cash in most likely. There's the halftime. Oh, and now it's our ball again right away. So we're going to do our shenanigans again. Getting a little weird ass formation out in some kind of a L or bow or whatever you want to call it. If he predicts that, I'm going to pass it here to Bokaku. I do hope you are seeing the mouse. Can get in here to Bukaku. Oh, he actually gives us space on the wing. There's Sakuryu. Sakuryu is pretty much a free pass here. Then we're gonna see what we can do. Ah, uh, good try from him. What he did try here is to s stop us with his own chapupu. There's the ball trazra. Getting into the 1v1 with strands. I'm only using this Sasatsu, so we still have one left. Whether that will be defensive or offensive. 111 TP is too much for Azrael with exactly 190. Get her out of the way. And who would have guessed? There goes the next Shining Dragon. There's his goalkeeper cash in. I believe he's gonna try to attack Kinako, us with Kinako. So. I'm just gonna keep the ball for now. Just gonna let him do what he does. Just wait. He does not actually. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, his Kinako is. Kinako does not have enough TP to use a Hisatsu, so by going cash and armed here, maybe we can tire out Mason. Getting Charity in, Chapupu in, Pukaku in, even the defensive players are gonna be pulled back again. House already is pretty much in a good spot, so we can leave her. And now we're just gonna shoot. <laughs> I 
There's the shot, Tenchi Rai, mate. Tenchi Rai, mate. Coming towards Mason, the question is will it stun? Oh, it does not stun, unfortunately. It does not stun, unfortunately. There's Froger. Oh my god, and there's his attack. We're getting out Zack's cash in. There's Sakuryu. The question is, can Sakuryu score on Zack? Because I do not have a block right now. I did use my defenders to offensively trying to push for the ball on Froger and Chapupu. There's the direct shot, but I believe from that distance we're actually pretty safe to stop it. 15,700 is a lot though. But reduced to 13,600, we do stop it with about 900 power. That's good to see. Uh, Azrael already uh, still has TP left for one more dribbling. I'm not totally dumb, which I sure hope I'm not. Let's see what we're gonna do now. Azrael on to QT. Azrael will pass, obviously. The question is how. Do we get our forwards in now? And do I maybe even go for the Azrael heal? He's been showing off this match. I do believe going for Nazrael heal is a good move there because we can pass Asim. This is gonna be the last item of the match from my side. But it's gonna let us push. Yeah, we pass Asim here. Yeah, that's what I thought. There goes the ball onto Bukaku. And there's Sakuryu. He doesn't have Cashins anymore. I'm gonna get a Sandman out there to give better passes to everyone and also boost Azrael for our dribblings. If needed. Oh my god, and he just... He just killed his goalkeeper, Cashin! That's our chance! That's our chance to score with Tenshi Raime! It's in! I believe that's a goal! Oh my god, that's so important! It's 2-1! It's not 2-1, but he's fatigued. There's Kinako. Can we block Kinako with Hakuryu? We cannot. Man. Oh, that's so unlucky. That is really unlucky. To do now, I think I can't even go with a cash in here. 
Yep, there's Cal as expected. His Hakuri is out of order. We just have to defend Kala. Please, Zach, go back a little and get those two blocks in. Then we can have a chance to stop this shot. Stop this force of a shot. Liatica with the defense. No. There's Zack and with that it's goal. Two one for Botti. That is really unlucky now. We're going to do a double switch on the strikers, getting in type advantage and someone against. Mason is probably going to switch Mason anyways, but with charity I'm probably not going to score either way. So. I believe the best way to go is just to push with Azrael now. didn't change the goalkeeper which means everything is very well possible for us we don't care now we're just gonna rush through rush with Azrael many cash and points no one cares about the offensive stat anyways at least not on dribbling cash -ins. Both go cash and armed. I win, of course, because of type advantage and because I'm a dribbler. And with an average of 3,000, I believe we can annihilate his defense here. Oh my God! And there's throb. There's throb for the for the goal, for the final goal, for the tie. Oh my god, and this goalkeeper walks past it. Is this gonna go in? Taiga Driver 1900. Will it? It goes in! It goes in! He doesn't get the block in! It's goal! Goal! 2 2! It's 2 2! Oh my god, the equalizer in the last minute. He did not get the block in. And the game is over. It ends 2 2 as well. Which means you guys are actually gonna get lucky here I do believe I'm putting it in this video too because with the result from the other game spoiler 3 2 1 which was also 2 2 it's gonna go into overtime now which means each of us gets to host 15 minutes 
and then hopefully a winner will have been determined. You know what? I I will do it a third video. Sorry to milk this match that much, but I believe the recording with half an hour is way too long already. So see you in the next video for the overtime and the potential penalty shootout. Goodbye.